Hello, Sagittarius, and welcome to Gina Moon. This is your new reading for what messages you need to know right now. Now, remember that this is a general reading, so take the reading however it resonates. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. It can also be for your sun, moon, rising, and or your Venus placements. Remember to stay till the end of the reading because I will be um, answering a yes or no question. So start thinking about what question you have, and uh, again, I will be giving you a yes or no answer. Sir. All right, so let's see. You are starting with the dominant energy of the drumroll. And you have here, wow, okay. Naughty thoughts. Okay, so hmm, very interesting already. It says here, naughty thoughts. And I feel like you got this one about maybe two, three weeks ago. It could be like similar energies. Maybe you're dealing with the same type of person, the same type of environment, but who knows? Maybe somebody new, something new, but there are naughty thoughts coming up to the surface. It says here, the number two, zero, 20. How does the number 20 resonate for you? Something important may have happened on the 20th of this month, could be for some of you, but also the number two represents two people, right? Between you and somebody, there's a connection, there's something going on, there could be naughty thoughts, there could be some kind of um, chemistry that you're feeling, around that person and that person towards you. So it says here, sexually fantasizing about you. Somebody could be sexually fantasizing about you or you about them. Strong need to be physically near. Mm, somebody here might be desiring you to be there with them. They might be missing you. They might be imagining you, you know, visualizing you, or this could be you too, right? Undeniable uh, sexual desires driven by instinct. So these sexual desires are driven by instincts. Like, oh my gosh, I just desire you so much, right? That kind of vibe. And look at the image here. I mean, it's a woman there very attractive lady there licking her phone. Oh, wow. Okay. What an image. <laughs> uh, is this you? <laughs> Have you been doing that? <laughs> Make sure you disinfect it. <laughs> okay. So I can't help but want you physically, sexually, and mentally. You are all I think about when I am alone and lost in my thoughts. The thought of you drives me insane. So if this is somebody else towards you, they literally cannot stop thinking about you, what they want to do with you physically, sexually, and even mentally, okay? You, you're you literally there, okay? Mentally, physically, you know, in their thoughts. Uh, you're all I think about day and night um, when they're alone, especially. They get lost in just you know, visualizations about you, the desire of you. Of course, this could be you. You could be like, oh my God, what is going on with me? Why am I having all of these, you know, thoughts about this person? Who knows? It could be somebody that you already know, um, somebody that you just met. The thought of you drives me insane. Somebody here is literally obsessing. Wow. Okay. Let me know what that's all about. Is this happening in your love life? Is this happening in your career? In your, you know, who knows? Whatever, whatever other area of your life. Let's go ahead and see what's going on here. Now we're going to be going into your past, present, future position, who and what is coming towards you. Um, also, what is in your challenge position, how to overcome that challenge, and what is in your opportunity? Remember, let me know in the comments below how this reading all resonates for you because you guys, it helps me out so much when you comment down below. Even if it's just commenting down an emoji, you really, really help support me and my channel. Thank you all so much for your love, support, and also hit that notification bell, hit that like button, uh, subscribe to the channel, and of course, give this video a thumbs up. Okay, thank you so much. Now, Let's jump into the signs here. I see some signs coming through the reading. You could be dealing with the sign of Aries. I see the sign of Pisces, Sagittarius. Uh, what else do we have here? Whatever other sign of the Zodiac doesn't necessarily have to be these. Could be literally any other sign. Okay. Now, at the bottom of the deck, you have here the Seven of Cups. Look at that. Options, options all around you. I mean, you literally have so many options all around you, but there's one. There's one that you cannot stop thinking about you. Okay. I mean, I said that because somebody here, I feel, is thinking about you and they can't stop thinking about. But what I meant is you cannot stop thinking about them. But I feel like it's more the opposite because I just it just blurted out, right? 
So somebody here definitely cannot stop thinking about you. Maybe even though this person may be thinking about other options or somebody here is thinking about, wait a minute, do they have many other options? Okay. Um, that kind of energy where this person might be kind of like feeling, oh, I'm not sure, right? I really have the desire for them to talk to them, but are they already talking to other people? This might be them towards you or you towards them. But I do see here that you do have a lot of options. Could also be the energy here where right now you're trying to make a decision, okay, as to where to go, where to start, what to do next, okay? You might have a lot going on in your life right now. You might have a lot of offers also. You might be like, oh my God, which one do I go for, okay? But I feel like there's always one in particular that you're like, oh, but this one, this one I just cannot get enough of. Okay, alrighty then. Now, it does here say at the bottom of this deck, there's a snail here. Somebody here has been moving uh, towards you or you towards them in a very snail-like kind of way, very slow, slow moving energy, okay? And somebody's losing patience, like, oh my God, when is this ever going to happen, right? So you've been patient with me during this journey. The wait is over. True love is here. Somebody here might have been, you know, very slow in coming towards you. But now this says, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to speak up. I'm ready to make a move. Somebody here is uh, ready to, um, you know, take action. Uh, whether you towards them, them towards you. Because somebody here has been rather patient. Okay, there has been a very slow moving process. Let me know in the comments below, has this happening in your career, love life, friends, family, whatever that is. Now, in your um, challenge position, you have the Queen of Swords, the Fool, and the Ten of Swords. So, in your challenge position, I do see here that you find it a little bit challenging to take a leap of faith into a new direction. You might find it a little bit challenging to do this, to go into a brand new door that is opening up for you because there's still some kind of... A little bit of energy where it, it's difficult for you to heal from some kind of a painful ending, okay? Some kind of a painful ending, whether you felt a sense of betrayal, whether you felt the sense of how could they, um, that kind of vibe, or something abruptly just ended. So you could find it a little bit, you know, um, or you might feel uneasy about an opportunity opening up for you because you may feel foolish, like, oh my God, last time I did that, Look at what happened, right? This painful ending. So yeah, it might be a little bit difficult for you to heal, to overcome some kind of an ending or to accept an ending for what it is. For others of you, it could be a little bit difficult for you to open up the lines of communication. Either right now you're not communicating, you don't feel like communicating, or you've cut off all communication in some kind of way, shape, or form. For others, this could be somebody towards you. Maybe somebody here isn't ready um, to take a leap of faith towards you. It's a little bit challenging for this person to want to take a leap of faith towards you because this person might still be a little bit unhealed, okay? And there could be a little bit of a chip on somebody's shoulder. What does that mean? Sometimes I get asked, what does that mean? Having a little bit of a chip on somebody or your shoulder, you know, if this is you, uh, that means that there's some kind of resentment that needs to be healed, okay? You need to first understand it. You need to, um, you know, uh, understand what went wrong, what your part was in it, what their part, and then heal it, right? Forgiveness. So somebody here may not um, yet feel like they're ready to forgive, whether you towards somebody, somebody towards you, but I feel like it's all miscommunication. I feel like it's because somebody here is unwilling to open up, unwilling to communicate. Again, whether them towards you, you towards them, whatever this is. There could be also some somebody challenge that, that might make this week a little bit challenging or these days a little bit challenging for you because this person may be um, very mean in the way that they express themselves. They might be very cold hearted. They might be emotionally detached from the situation, right? Uh, it could be um, manipulation for some of you, not for everybody, that kind of vibe. However, telepathy is here. It says here, do you hear me talking to you? Uh, I need you close to me right now. Please respond. So somebody here might be 
um, trying to communicate with you telepathically. They may not be communicating with you directly, whether you towards them, them towards you, right? But telepathically, you guys are definitely connecting and communicating. Whether you see, you know, different numbers or repetitive numbers, you see signs, signal synchronicities that remind you of that person, or you've been trying to communicate with them through your energy, you know, through your dream state, or just energetically, you're just like you think about them, you know, but somebody here is kind of like, denying these signs, denying these signals, like, oh, no, no, I'm going crazy. That can't possibly be real, you know? And you're like, no, that can't be real. Uh, well, it is, okay? It is. You guys definitely are trying to communicate with each other telepathically. Uh, you guys, again, may not be actually communicating, but you are on a very um, deep energetic level, okay? So if this is you denying this communication, somebody's actually trying to tell you something. They're trying to communicate something. Okay. So pay attention to the vibrations, pay attention to the, um, you know, the signs, signal synchronicities that you receive about the situation, about this person, place, or thing. Again, this could be in your career, family, friends, love, whatever this is for you. Now in your recent past, you also have here the wheel of fortune, the queen of cups and the six of swords. So in the recent past here, I feel that there was something that was destined to be yours. You felt like destiny played a part, a role in this situation, whether it was a career, uh, you know, a family situation, a, a friendship, a love dynamic, whatever this was. I feel like there was love there. There was love there. However, one person wasn't really showing how they felt to the other. Okay, this was this happened in the recent past. I feel very strongly that this union was definitely meant to be. It was something here that you guys were meant to create something, do something together. But one person, even though their feelings were real, they weren't able to express them. And so somebody here either got tired of it and just moved on. Okay. There was somebody here who ended up, um, you know, moving on, letting go about uh, of the situation. All right. Now I feel here that nourishment is here. So you feed my mind and nourish my soul. Your energy helps me keep, keep going. So I feel that this person, um, did realize, or, you know, at some point they did realize that you were the one that would feed their mind. You would nourish their soul. Your energy was the energy that helped them keep going. And so if this is them towards you or towards each other, you felt like together this bond nourished you, it fed you, it fed your mind, it nourished your soul. You felt complete, basically. You felt like this was home. You felt like this was, you know, the energy that you felt like, oh my God, we're meant to be, right? It's like, it's just me with me, right? That's when it feels so natural. Your energy just, their energy helped you keep going. You helped them uh, keep going. There was a lot of nourishment there, okay? You guys were nourishing each other, but somebody here who could not express themselves, could not open up, um, you know, that that's what created problems there. Now, let me know in the comments below, uh, was this happening in your career, love, life, friends, whatever that is, okay? Now, in your present energy, you have the high priestess, the knight of wands, and the two of cups. So yeah, there's definitely a soulmate union and a soulmate connection either about to happen right now or happening already. You're either about to meet a person, a kindred soul, a kindred spirit, some kind of a destined soulmate, soulmate connection, right? Where you're going to feel captivated by them. They're going to be feeling captivated by you. There could be a lot of naughty thoughts, you know, where all of a sudden you're like, oh my God, I haven't felt this way in a long time. Like, why am I getting all of these visions about this person, right? All of these desires, okay? So I feel like right now, um, a lot of you guys are either about to feel awakened, okay? Um, not only, uh, you know, just physically, but emotionally as well. I'm sensing here that there's still a lack of communication, I feel like uh, right now you're either still not communicating with that person, that person's still not communicating with you, but there is passion there. I feel like somebody here who has not been communicating, they soon will. They soon will be taking action because this is an undeniable bond. It's an undeniable connection. It's a soulmate union. It's something here that is definitely meant to be, okay? And I feel like it's going to make you happy. Right now, what you need to tune into is to your intuition. Don't ignore your intuition because your intuition is trying to communicate something to you. Part of that is right now there is an agreement that has been made. You both have made an agreement to focus on yourselves first and then come back together as one. If right now you guys are not in communication and you're just communicating telepathically, right? That means that 
soul wise, right? Like at a soul spiritual level, you guys have both made an agreement to focus on yourselves first, to heal, to evolve, to grow in some kind of way, shape or form. And then when you guys feel ready, you guys want to come back together as one. As you can see in this image, there is the agreement there, two hands shaking, and then the feminine energy is on one side, the masculine energy is on the other side. They're both on their laptop, on their computer, kind of like working on, you know, on each other themselves, on their work, their career, whatever it is. And then, you know, when they're ready, they come back together as one. That could be an agreement that either you guys are about to make, are making, or have made on a spiritual level. Okay. Now let me know in the comments below, is this happening in your love, life, career, finances, friends, whatever that is, and what is going on also. Now, in the near future, you have the Seven of Swords, the Eight of Cups, and the Judgment. So for sure, there's going to be some kind, for a lot of you, there's going to be some kind of a reconciliation or a reunion of sorts. Um, but there's also a little bit of sneaky behavior. The Seven of Swords talks about, um, you know, a person here who is either uh, lying, being very deceptive, deceiving, right? Acting rather sneaky, not being completely honest. So watch out for that because there's somebody here who might be lying, who might not be all that honest with you and there's going to be some kind of a disappointment okay some kind of disappointing energy where somebody here again it's like you expected this person to change to do this to do that and then all of a sudden it's like you get lies you get deceit i'm sensing that uh, whoever ends up walking away, you're going to receive a wake up call. Like, you know what? This is just a moment for me to reflect, for me to heal, for me to listen to the higher calling. Okay. I'm sensing that there's going to be, uh, for sure a reconciliation. However, this reconciliation does come after a, a period of isolation because it does say here, isolation. I need to be alone to figure out who I am and who I want to be. So please be patient with me. So whether this is going to be you, wanting to isolate yourself to figure out who you are, uh, who you want to be, what you want in life, or this could be that person or both of you. Okay. Now let's go ahead and see in your opportunity. So part of your opportunity has to do with the page of swords, the knight of cups and the knight of pentacles. So, Ooh, wow. Okay. Now for a lot of you, that's why we see options. You're going to have an opportunity to make a decision between two people. Okay. You're going to have options. You're going to have two offers. One of those offers uh, is going to come in um, expressing more so of their hearts, you know, their feelings or emotions. The other one is ready to build something with you. They're ready to show you, hey, this is what I've got to offer, right? Um, now, they're both equally as good, okay? One is not better than the other. It's just up to you which one you want. For others of you, there's going to be an opportunity for somebody here to come in to apologize to you. And after this person apologizes to you or after this person expresses themselves to you, you're going to have an opportunity to now start building something together. This is just one person that we're talking about, right? For those of you guys just dealing with one person and no um, two people, okay, uh, then that means that again, when this person comes in to express themselves, how they feel, they might be apologizing, that kind of thing, you guys will now be able to move from, okay, just talk, 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 you know, promises, promises to now, okay, you know what, let's, let's actually build something. Let's actually plant that seed, start watering it, right? Start uh, letting the sunlight, okay, um, do its thing with it and see if it has a potential to grow. So there's going to be um, an opportunity there to actually start the process towards building something, whether it's a business, a relationship, a career, whatever this is. I'm sensing also that you're going to have an opportunity to get more clarification, get more information, okay, um, about a situation that you've been a little bit unclear of, of, like you've been a little bit confused about, okay? So you're going to get some kind of clarity of information as well. Now, here with the knight in armor, I want to show you what real love is, protect your heart, and show you an everlasting love. So I feel like for a lot of you, there's going to be one particular person who's going to come in, and they're going to want to, you know, show you what real love is. They want to protect your heart. They're like, they, they just want you. They know that you are it. They know that you are, you know, who they want. They want to show you an everlasting love. They want to start building something with you. Just be aware that this person is still protecting themselves a little bit, okay, because they're still needing to heal, okay? Um, so if you sense a little bit of um, kind of like an in and out behavior from this person, just understand that this person might still have 
personal issues that they're working through is what I'm sensing. Okay. Now let's go into your yes or no question. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to give you a little bit of time so you can ask your question. So ask your question and you will be getting a yes or no answer. Are you ready? Okay. So is this a yes or no? Is this a yes or a no? It's a yes. It's a very quick yes. Absolutely. So you have yes here, the Knight of Swords. Okay, this is um a very quick message, determination. Somebody here coming in, they need to tell you something. They must tell you something. It's a lot of information, just all of a sudden just flows. And it's like, it's like you open up the door, you like crack it open, and it just kind of like flies open because there's so much that this person needed to tell you, want to tell you, or they're ready to build with you. Something of that matter. Or maybe the universe has a lot on offer for you. Because remember, you do... or you did have the seven of cups there, a lot on offer for you. So that's a definite yes. It's going to move rather quickly. This situation is going to move rather quickly. Okay. There's that energy of determination, that energy of will drive, you know, um, getting things done finally, you know, wanting to win at all costs. Okay. That kind of vibe. So it's a yes, whatever it is that you asked. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this yes or no. I know that I used to do this in past readings and I've been getting some comments there um, telling me, hey, whatever happened to the yes or no questions? And I'm like, oh, maybe I should bring those back. So let me know if you do enjoy these yes or no questions um, in the comments below as well. Now we're going to jump into the extended. And in the extended is where we dive deeper into the situation, into the other person's subconscious thoughts about you, their deeper feelings, emotions for you, their next moves, actions towards you, how this entire situation is all going to unfold and turn out for you, what will be the final result, and we will end the reading with any guidance messages from spirits. So if you want to check that out, the link to the extended is down in the description box below, but you can also find the link to the extended in the first comment that I pinned down below as well. And if you do want to check out all all of your monthly readings for your sign, your weekly readings, your monthly readings, your mid-monthly readings, your love readings, okay, your blessings readings. You can check out all of those readings. I will link them down in the first comment that is pinned down below. And remember, if you do want to support this channel, you can do so by commenting down below. Even if it's just commenting down an emoji, you guys have no idea how much it helps support me and my channel because as you know, the YouTube algorithm has been changing and it has been hiding my videos from the news feed, etc. So if you want to support the channel, if you do enjoy my readings, then comment down below. Let me know how this reading all resonates for you. Again, even if it's just with an emoji. And of course, give this video a thumbs up, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, all that good stuff. Thank you all so much for your love, for your support. Thank you so much for watching. Take very good care of yourselves. And until next time, bye-bye. In the extended reading, I go into the other person's subconsciousness, their deeper thoughts about you, their deeper feelings for you, their next actions, moves, and more. And thank you all so, so much for all of your positive feedback for the extended reading. I am so glad that you guys are loving the extended reading so much. So again, if you want to check out the link to the extended, the link is down in the description box below. And I have partnered with some psychic soar so that you can receive 10 minutes for only $10 and an additional three minutes for free. I'm not the one doing the readings on psychic source, but you can choose any psychic of your choice. You can choose to either talk to them online or call them. Make sure to use my special discount code 26489 at checkout. The link to my psychic source partnership is down in the description box below. And check out my website at ginamoon.com. Click on shop. I do have new jewelry pieces, rings, bracelets, crystals, necklaces, and so much more for both men and women. So check that out at ginamoon.com and click on shop and follow me on Instagram at ginamoonofficial as I will be posting more on there.